stupid cult. Read carefully. Those whom your right hand possess out of the prison of war, who Allah assigned to you, you see, to thee. But Mary the Copt, she is not a prisoner of war. She was a gift from the king of, of uh, 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 the ruler of uh, Egypt. So he have no right to sleep with her. But who care? Muhammad, he make a law. That's it. Allah, he said to him, uh, Allah told me why you are forbidden this. Allah made it lawful for you. So I find it very. Uh, Hilarious when Muslims they speak about sex scandals of somebody when they are following the most perverted sex maniac prophet. Even his heaven is nothing but porn. Your penis will be endless, your wife's ass will be one mile, which is a small, by the way. I mean, come on, let us face it. We like big screen TV. So, but you know, there's something here. I mean, something really stupid. So, the wife in heaven, she will be 30 miles tall, and her ass is one mile but according to the reference she will be 90 centimeter wide okay I solve this problem for me how she is 90 centimeter wide and then her ass is one mile <clears throat> should I use my art now you know me I'm good in art you know let, let, let us do this so your wife she will be the Muslim man who will be 90 mile. He will be 90 mile tall. And, and the same, he will be in a, in a, a 90 centimeter wide. In the, in, the, in the length of an arm. Okay, like a tree. But 90 mile tree, I mean, hello? Okay. So the man or the woman, so this is, let us say, this is 30 mile. This is your wife in heaven now. And then she go. Let us say this is a twenty mile, okay, twenty mile. And now suddenly her ass, oof, 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 oof. And now she continue. This is her legs, you know, go down. And what is that? So the woman, she is one arm wide and her ass is one mile? How she can walk? What if she farted? By the way, if anyone want to be my enemy, I'm, I'm making a, a threat. I will order my beautiful wives in heaven to bend over and fart at you. They will blow you to the other galaxy. I mean, can you imagine one mile fart? How much gas is that? And by the way, don't smoke <laughs> because fart is a flammable. What this religion is about? And then the man penis is endless penis. And then the man he do dahman dahman, which means he hits so hard. What? And, and they speak about sex scandal. When their heaven, their earth, their religion is nothing but sex, the word nikah is their God. Most them don't worship God, they worship their penises. They pray for Allah what? To get this. And then Muhammad, he go extreme with his racism. You know, Muhammad is a racist person. The same as the rest of the Arab. You know, I know my people. They are obsessed with white women. So Muhammad, he go with his obsession so far, and he say that women in heaven, they will be so white. To the point you will see the marrow of their bones. Can you imagine having women you can see the marrow of their bones? And this is God the promise, and this is Sahih Bukhari. So don't tell me it's weak, you know the garbage. This is the Christian Prince, you saw you weak hadith. This is Sahih Bukhari. Eh? What we will do now? What the Prophet? They will be transparent, brother. The Huris, brother. They are so beautiful, pure, transparent. Let us be honest here. How many of us we like to have a woman transparent? So if she took your credit card and she tried to hide it in her bra, you can see it. I mean, come on, let us be real here. 
how many of you your wife she took your credit card and she bought some shoes with it without telling you and how many times you wish that you can get her busted and she go home she say oh it's not me somebody stole the credit card obviously hello otherwise where is my shoes huh where is my shoes she put them in her maybe sister house when they go out they extend them there the brother you can see the marrow of their bones look why the bony prophet the bony religion i mean what do you think we are a bunch of puppies who they are obsessed with bones is that supposedly sexy and you know it <clears throat> so you go to heaven brother and now your dream come true the virgin you are waiting for they are there look see the stars brother let, let us make it for you in stasis okay we will make it for you in stasis so now uh, you are going to heaven okay and then brother you like you see first the stars and the space and you know very beautiful thing i forgot first you take an airplane you know so like you fly Allah will send you a mule, a donkey, like the Prophet, what happened to him, he sent him a donkey. And then you go up, you go up, you go up, you go up, and then suddenly you see, you start seeing the stars. And then you go to heaven, brother. And then what do you see in heaven? You will not believe it, brother. Something so beautiful. This is your beautiful wife waiting for you. Uh, I excuse the position. This is a prophet of God making a promise about heaven. This is heaven. If this is heaven, what is a cartoon? We can see the marrow of her bones. So this man, Islam is a 100% sexual, filthy cult religion. There's nothing there except sex, sex, sex. In the top of that, it's a perverted and it is white supremacist. Anyone will enter heaven of Allah have to be white, and Allah will make you so white to the point. Even the women he promised you to have there, they are so white. Muhammad here is talking about how white they are, by the way. When a person is very white, you can see the veins under his skin. So Muhammad is seducing the Arab men, saying, you will have a very white, transparent women, and they are so white to the point you can see the marrow of their bones. And we have to be honest. Look at this. Look at this beauty. I mean, if you are a Hindu, I feel sorry for you because you don't have this. If you are a Buddha, you don't have this. If you are a Christian, you have zero. There is no women I mean, like this, you know. Jesus said he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. In Islam, brother, Islam. I don't know. I feel like I want to cry. I, I heard the Adhan. I felt like crying. They put in YouTube video. A Catholic, he heard the Adhan for the first time. <laughs> He's saying you will get virgin and they are transparent. And their ass will be one mile. I hear the you know that fake videos you know to get publicity and get uh, the like of the Muslims so their channels can grow. Actually, it is I don't I, I cannot show you all the pictures because some of them they are case sensitive. Unbelievable! I should not put this picture. A lot of people now will convert to Islam. Men, a lot of men they will. Uh, this is this is un, unresistible. I mean, we have to be we have to be honest. Can we deny that this is so beautiful? And how does God he think about our desire as men? He knew that you like white women, so he used a bleach. I think the one who discovered a Clorex first time, it was Allah. He put those women in Clorex and all the color is gone. And then he, you know, he hanged them up like to dry, and then this is what we get. This is religion. This, this is a religion. If this is a religion, a stupidity is what?
and this is why I cannot I cannot really I don't want to get married because I'm waiting for this beauty I want to find like this look at this look at this man I mean look at this Ew. she's laying down in the bed and you see her bones and even you see her poo, -poo. <laughs> I mean, let us face it all together. You cannot beat this. And this is why the suicide bomber, the filthy, who attack a church in Indonesia, he want to get those. Why? How they convince him to die? How this is stupid idiot who just took a motorcycle and he exploded himself in front of a church because they told him, brother, don't you want to get the virgin, brother? And the horny Abdul, he said, yes, yes, we are. Okay, give me the motorcycle. I want to go right now. Yeah, this is what they want to die. They don't. They are not dying for the sake of their God. They are dying for the stupid penis. This is one hundred percent stupid penis religion. Nothing about it about God. You see, if God is important in this religion, all those promises will not be exist. Why God he need to tempt me by a billy, food, wine? And a penis and a vagina if he is God this is what Satan he does the funny they say to you that we worship God but obviously God can't be God God don't tempt you by such a thing God he says to you be holy like your father it's a project to work in God he says you will be like an angel in heaven he free you from your needs this is the best happiness you are free you are living free happy you are not stressed you are not hungry you are not horny but yet you are happy very happy a happiness you cannot reach by your physical being body Muhammad, he focus in your desire as a human being to tempt you so you go, go and fight and die for him. And I have a request for all the people who are listening. Please play my videos in the front of your children. I mean, children doesn't mean like they are six years old. Children mean children, they can be even 18, you know? Share with them so no false teaching will come to them and they will be deceived because most of them, they make millions of videos trying to deceive them. Starting from scientific miracle in the Quran, which is absolutely false and a lie. A question was given just to show you how Islam work a question was given to dr. Shabir Ali why do Muslim play claim Satan why Muslims blame Satan I asked the same question how you Muslim claim Satan for anything when Allah is Satan and we can prove it easy listen carefully to the question and the answer the question is, why do Muslims blame Satan rather than God when something bad happens to them or when they do something bad? <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting question. Um, this has come up in the story of uh, the prophet Job. Mm -hmm. um, Muslim commentators um, cite the fact that the Quran says that uh, Job uh, complains to God that Satan has touched me with, um, with some punishment. Um, so the Imam Razi, for example, in his commentary says, well, this is just the way in which people speak. It doesn't mean that Satan actually afflicted Job. Uh, and, and more generally... Look at this. Look at this. So how come the Quran says that when Muhammad receives satanic verses, Allah will take away the verses which Shaitan he gave to Muhammad? Isn't it this is afflicted? I mean, do you see the stupidity? I mean, do those people don't even use their brain when they, they they grow a beard. Their beard is not even good to work as a broom to clean the floor. Muhammad, he received satanic verses. Muhammad, he tried to commit suicide. Muhammad, he commits sin. 
The Quran says Muhammad he committed sin and Allah says may Allah forgive your sin. I mean have you ever heard of a God he asked other God to forgive the sin of his prophet? So if you are saying that we cannot blame Satan according to Islam, I agree you cannot for Satan is Allah. But you're saying that prophet they were not inflicted by what you claim to be Satan, which is, is Allah, and we will prove it. Look at this verse. Chapter 48, verse number 2. And this is about Muhammad. That Allah may, may forgive the fault. Look at the false translation. The fault. They don't dare to say the word correctly. They say fault. But how I can say Muhammad have a sin? If you change the translator, this is Yusuf Ali. Go to different translator. You will find right away that the word fault became sin see who corrupt their religion muslims there's a huge difference between fault and sin fault i broke something by mistake that's not sin sin is sin is something you do against the will of god fault have nothing to do with that very simple this is why it's a different word so when the Quran says that may Allah forgive your sin, the question is, who is the one is talking? They will say to you, Allah. Okay, if Allah is talking, why is saying may Allah forgive your sin? If Allah is one God. Is Allah speaking to different Allah? We will leave that answer for the Muslims. And for sure, they will give you all of the funny examples. Allah, he speak as a third person. Hold on. So Allah who speak as a third person, why he say may? Allah making a wish to who? Huh? When Allah he say that Allah may may it's a, this is a prayer. Allah praying to who? If I say to you, may God forgive you, I am praying to God to forgive you. Very simple. And the word may present is not in my hand control to be forgiven. It's just a wish I can make for you. So when Allah he say, may Allah forgive you. Allah wishing forgiving to Muhammad by other God. That doesn't make sense. If you Muslim believe that Allah is one God. So how Allah say, may Allah. And when Shabir Ali speaking about uh, prophet are not afflicted by Satan. So Shabir Ali, when Muhammad he commits sin, was that from Satan or from God? According to you, from God. Thank you very much. And that is approving my point that Allah is Shaitan. Let us continue with Shabir Ali. Uh, this verse does not refer to a prophet Muhammad. Are you sure, Abdul? Guys, those, those geniuses, I don't know what... Hold on, let me take a copy for you. Guys, let me show you how... When I say those, those are not really Muslim, they don't know really. I never saw a Muslim, he knew what he's talking about. All of them, they are made in China. Yeah, read carefully. House of Saudi. When House of Saudi, he speak, everybody go mute, please. The genius is talking. Christian Brands, you are so stupid. This verse does not refer to Muhammad. It refer to multiple people, Muslims. Read the context, idiot. What if I show you in front of everybody that it refer to Muhammad? What you would do? <laughs> Let us change the translator. <laughs> I do not even need to go to the interpretation. I just change the translator. You will see the name Muhammad appear there. Let us see. Uh, this is Biktal. <laughs> This is Muhammad Saeed. Okay, hold on, let's see. We have uh, we have to change the translator to find, but we can go to the interpretation too, and then people will see. Okay, hold on. Uh, Sahih International, let's see Sahih International. Uh, Sahih International then say Muhammad, let's see. Okay, uh, Biktal, let's see Biktal. 
uh, doesn't say to yeah I have to change the translator until you get the the one getting him busted <clears throat> okay um, shaker I'm not sure which translator will say to you, but we can go to the interpretation. Can we? We got Nader. Who is Nader? Ah, this is a stupid kid. This is the guy who said that he's a prophet, have sex with the goat. And he said to me, it's better than your God who said to smash the head of the baby. <laughs> And then the Muslims just start making an article about him. Now that, now that he spoke to Christian Prince, did you hear what he said? He said he agreed that the Prophet have sex with the goat. <laughs> anyway, so if we go to the interpretation, this is chapter 48, verse number 2. 48 <coughs> verse number two <coughs> remember that Abdul he said that I am stupid this verse is not about Muhammad right okay let us see and we will show you a Kathir we will show you whatever you know hmm. okay Does it speak about the Prophet or not? Nader Ahmed, you can, if you want to call me, you can call me right in Pal Talk so we can laugh at you. This guy, by the way, he is uh, obsessed. He seeks attention. He's just a kid. He is just, I mean, he's a low class person. He don't even have high school. He don't know what he's talking about. And like, even imagine he called people, he claimed to be someone else. I want to debate you. And then we go, they find that, that it's Nader Ahmed. <laughs> Another, you want to call me? So we just we, just for a laugh. Do you want to call me? Don't tell me you don't have pal talk. Last time we spoke many years ago, it was pal talk. So I will open my pal talk so we can laugh. What do you think? Well, well, let us see who's running from who. Okay, I will open my pal talk right now. Is that fair, guys? I will open my pal talk right now. <clears throat> and you cannot say I don't have pal talk because this is how we spoke first time ever. Ah. Call me right now. And everybody will die laughing at you. <coughs> All right. I'm opening my pal talk. Here we go. We are in. Let us see. <sighs> And let me search for your name. Can you give me your name in Pal Talk? I will text you. Uh, come on, you cannot be uh, another Ahmed then. You're a potato then. Because this guy, I mean, the guy he talked, I mean, he used to go to my room and he would spank him every day. And now give me your Pal Talk ID. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't think this is him. Let us search. Hold on. <clears throat> okay, I found a guy. His name is Nadir Ahmad. All right, here we go. I'm going to text you. It says you are offline. Text me back. Well, I just texted him. He can say whatever he want. Hmm? Here we go. This is Nader Ahmad. It says he is offline. All right. And this is my text. See it? Hmm. Let us see the hero. We will wait for you. Potato. 
So this verse, it is about Muhammad. And when they try to fabricate an answer, say it is not, we, we laugh. It is just about Muhammad. <clears throat> if we go here, let us see. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. It says clearly that the honorable surah was revealed after the message of Allah. He returned, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And it's speaking about Muhammad. As you see, may Allah forgive your sin for you. I'm waiting for you, Nadir. I'm, don't waste my time. It doesn't take two seconds to log in Palto. <clears throat> this guy, he do not need to run from anyone. This guy, he do not know anything. This guy is not even a Muslim. This guy is a kid. I, I'm, I'm just allowing him to call me now. Because he, like, he's just—I mean, he's just a silly kid. Uh, if you saw his email, he wanna—he wanna beat the guy. He wanna—he play karate. And <laughs> all Muhammad and they play karate. All of them they are Bruce Lee. I, have, I wanna go to beat you. I challenge you to meet me there. Okay? I'm going to come and break your bones. Yeah. What a bunch of kids. But anyway, this is the guy who agreed that his prophet have sex with the goat. What do you want more than this? And then the Muslims, they start torturing him for saying that. All of them are the same. Us Usama Abdullah, he said to me that it's proven that magic is, is, a, is, a, is a lie. I said, what? He said, magic is a lie. I said, but the Quran says that. <laughs> and the Muslim made article about him too. I mean, anyone who come to speak to me, the Muslims, they torture him. Uh... You publish English version of the Quran with a accurate translation. Yeah, I would do that. Uh, Sunni. Uh, I'm working on that actually. I'm working on that since actually a long time ago, but because it's taking too much time and I'm not giving it enough time to finish it. You know, I need to take a break from YouTube so I can finish my book or the translation. <clears throat> Nadir, where are you, man? Are you there? Until now, I received no hello back from Nader Ahmed. He's a kid, you know, he, he's like a bug, you know, like, I will, it challenge you, I challenge you. I say, Nader, come on, don't, don't, don't touch my shoes. I will challenge you. I, I, I are running away from me. Nader, G, leave my shoes alone. Uh, what Skype, you coward? Where is, what Skype? Go to Palto. Get out of here. Get out of here. Just a kid. Stupid kid. See, he made me go to Palto. And now he don't want to go. And all his life is he's in Palto. Suddenly he don't want to go in Palto. Yeah. Uh, admin is just a black hand. We don't have time for kids. And what I want from you more after you agree that your prophet have sex with the goat. <laughs> 